Hello Aquarius, welcome and welcome back dear loves. We're going to look at you in love and partnership as well as another person who is very strongly in your energies or environment here. Okay, we got some Venus Aquarian energy. So the truth about someone's feelings is coming to the forefront of someone's mind. This is what I'm getting here, okay? And I feel like there could be some sort of disappointment about this. Maybe you're thinking about the way that you feel about someone and it's not what you expected or what you thought to begin with, or this is someone else in your environment. Okay, back to what I was saying. You and someone else in your environment, the way you guys are seeing one another, what you want from the situation, your next moves, as well as a two week outcome so we can see a little bit further, okay? Yeah, I feel like someone is having trouble voicing the way that they think or feel about something or someone. Aquarius, your situation and your person. I'm hearing Leo. Aquarius on the backside here. Situation is the Justice Libran energy on the backside. So injustice. You have someone over here with the Ace of Wands. Okay, it feels like someone, yeah, there's the Five of Swords again. There's an injustice here, um, an imbalance, and it feels like someone has hell to pay is what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, you have a person here with this Ace of Wands. They they are in an energy of like taking action in some form or fashion. We are going to clarify this. You yourself, Aquarius, it looks like you're taking a hard look at yourself or there's something that you need to look inward about here, okay? Because higher consciousness is also coming into this. Interesting. I feel like you're getting into an alignment here. Into an alignment, Okay. What does that mean? And alignment? Just getting into alignment? Oh, okay. You were in alignment with something that was not resonating with you. That's why we have this imbalance and injustice energy. Okay, let's see about this injustice. What's going on? What's going on between you and this person with this injustice? This temperance card keeps popping out. Tell me about this injustice. That's Sagittarian energy. Okay. Taurus, Three of Cups. I feel like someone is like going to like a an exotic club or something like that for some reason. I don't know why this is coming out. Okay, hold on. I'm hearing cake. Cake? All right. So your situation looks like someone is missing the relationship here or the idea about the relationship between you and this person, but it does look like there's some sort of discrepancy when it comes to communication here, also related to someone's feelings. Like I said, I do feel like someone did not, they were not in touch with the reality of the situation or the way that they felt here. This is what I'm getting, okay? So let's just move forward. Let me see about this Aquarius star card backside for Aquarius. Okay, it could be that someone didn't make um, a choice in time from what I'm seeing. You have some Cancerian energy here and the Three of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So this is you being very, very strategic, okay? Um, yeah, the back of the Three of Swords is here. I feel like you're getting out of a situation. It feels like you didn't want someone to be on your case or kind of like making you feel some certain types of ways. It looks like you yourself is trying to be smart about the way that you're moving um, and success moving forward. So this is you kind of calculating things I also feel like you are disconnected, disconnected here with um, someone's emotions, okay? I feel like you may not resonate with this person's emotions or someone is trying to be overly emotional. I feel like someone is having like a public outburst or some sort of emotional outburst here. Like someone is losing it from what I'm seeing and you're kind of like, I don't have time for this or I don't want to hear this is what it feels like to me. Um, Okay, maybe someone is just like uh, ex like experiencing a lot of feelings at once and it's coming out like chaotic. Okay, so you're avoiding some form of chaos within this situation, okay? I feel like you don't want someone to, I'm hearing chastise you, okay? It feels like you're trying to, you're not getting away with something, are you? I just feel like you're getting away from something. That's what this looks like to me or someone. Someone's on, on your case here case. Okay, some of you guys, maybe this does have to do with something legal for some of you. Um, and in this case, I would say illegal. Tell me about this ace of wands in this person's court. Oh yeah, and I said court. Wow. I was going to say camp. Okay. Um, back of the six of wands. Ew. 
I don't like that with that ace of wands there. Hold on, let's see what this is about. Okay, this is someone, I feel like someone's like scaring you away or, or it feels that way for some reason, okay? It's interesting because even though there's love in this situation, it's not showing at all, okay? Um, I feel like there's an aspect of kind of like, let me take advantage of this or take advantage of you or the people around me here so I can suit my needs, whatever this is here, okay, guys? Or maybe they feel like you did this to them, whatever it is, like you figure out where you are in this reading. This person over here is saying that Something is a lose-lose situation between you and them. And the fact that you kind of left it alone or tapped out here makes them feel like they won or they're the winner, okay? This is someone who feels like they're winning. They won because they scared you off or something like that. Um, hmm. Maybe that's why you're like getting out of there. You're like, oh no, let me let me get out of here. This looks like a bad idea. Okay, maybe it's someone's true colors that are coming to the forefront. That's what I said. Either someone's feelings is becoming very clear because I feel like this is like dispelling an illusion. Like I feel like there's a truth bubbling up to the surface about either someone's character, behavior. I'm hearing, yeah. Uh, chauvinism i heard that in a different reading what was it i don't know how do you see this person aquarius i don't know i feel like you're kind of running for the hills or heading for the hills here i'm hearing hills okay i feel like you have your eyes on something you're looking at a mountain all right so there's a goal in mind that you have right now and you feel like you need to achieve it but silently I feel like you're trying to get to a, a place of, of safety or like get like a higher ground here. It feels like someone's dragging you, dragging you to some sort of abyss or like their level. Game playing. Okay, how do you see this person? What is going on in this reading, guys? How do you see this person? Five of Swords, quite literally right there. Um, the Four of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. All right. You feel like, I, and I'm, listen, okay? I'm just gonna tell you one more time. This can be vice versa. It's a tarot reading. Please don't be mad at me, but I'm gonna tell you what I'm seeing. All right. This could be someone who is acting out of their own volition here, possibly not catering to other people in their environment. I'm specifically hearing catering. This is someone who takes what they can get. Maybe you feel like this is what they do. It's like they present themselves with a certain behavior or demeanor where they're kind of like, um, naive or like maybe they pretend this way they pretend like they're harmless or um, like they need some sort of help here but they end up taking advantage of the situation you're dealing with a trickster I don't know who or what happened here but it does look very volatile okay especially when everything hit the fan here I feel like this became very apparent okay the six of wands is here on yep six of wands is what I'm seeing so now there's some sort of detachment happening here I feel like you are aware absolutely aware of this whole thing Okay, something is hitting the fan, Aquarius. How does this person see Aquarius? The Six of Swords. They feel like you're kind of running away or you're heading for the hills, like I said. The Two of Wands with the, on the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone who feels like you're kind of detaching here. They may feel like you're a good catch. You have a good background. Maybe you have a good family or you have a lot of resources piled up here. They also feel like you win the favor of those around you. Like maybe, maybe it's best for you to detach here. Like they feel like you're making a decision based off of your best interest. That's really interesting, okay? Six of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. They feel like you're moving towards some sort of Ace of Pentacles. Let me see what else is going on in this. You're investing in your future. There's the Three of Cups. Okay. 
they feel like you kind of read between the lines of what someone is saying or it's like you you may have gotten some sort of information from someone's friends or like a child here that said something that kind of brought the truth to light from what I'm seeing, okay? Um, they may feel like you're seeking out like Some of you, this is spiritual guidance so that you can understand this connection or some sort of feelings here. The strength card. This is someone who feels like you're on your way to making a good investment or it's like you're going back home or you're going back to what you know. This is what this person is seeing you as. All right. What do you want with this person? Ten of Swords, Lovers, Gemini, Leo Energy. This could be a Leo for some. Some of you. Um, Libra, Capricorn. Maybe another Aquarius or another fire sign. All right, moon card on the bottom of the deck. It's interesting because I feel like maybe maybe you're wanting a connection here or you did at some point, but I don't feel like you do anymore. Or you're kind of like in your feels about this. You could be kind of confused about whatever went down or it's almost like this just has to stop or this has to end here because uh, there's a sense of betrayal or the way that things ended was just kind of gnarly. I'm hearing gnarly. You may feel like you kind of understand this connection now and now you're making a decision to kind of scrap this. Yeah, the Eight of Cups is here. There's some sort of weird persona is what I'm getting or someone's personality is just not right for you something like that some of you guys are dealing with someone who is just um very self-serving all right i feel like you want people to know this okay what is this person there's the chariot what does this person want with aquarius what does this person want with aquarius it feels like someone wants to achieve their means at all costs. Like someone has an agenda and they want everybody to serve their agenda. Okay, everybody's like a player in a chessboard or something like that to this person. Literally this person is in this emperor energy here with the six of wands. Yeah, this is someone who is very cocky, very um, abrasive is what I'm hearing. This is someone who could be kind of upset about this situation or they want some sort of justice here, possibly what they perceive as justice. I mean, I don't have the backstory here, guys, but I do see that this is someone who is kind of staying with that this situation is done or it's over or everybody's tapped out here. Okay, for the Six of Wands, they feel like this is the best thing to do. Who in the world and what in the world is going on in this reading? Okay, let's see. Huh, the Two of Wands. This is someone who's kind of looking over at you or... Um, very curious about trying to see how you're feeling, how you're doing, who you're dating or something to that effect here. Okay, there could be some spying is what I am seeing. There is some spying going on, but not a whole lot else. Let me see your next moves and then this person's next move. Okay, the emperor, it's that person. And Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. There's some spying going on here too. Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. There's the Two of Cups. All right, let me see this person's next moves. 
I feel like you're aware that someone's wanting to know your whereabouts, where you're living, whether or not you're single. You guys are spying on one another here. This is what I am seeing. Okay, the sun card on the bottom of the deck is happening. Interesting. You may be hearing from this person. It looks like this person does want to work together, even though it's, it's like they're refusing that they're mean or they're rude or that you were. Maybe you're refusing that you're mean or you're rude, but it was showing up in this person's energies, okay? Um, the backside of these cards is not good. I'm just saying. All right, this person feels like there's some sort of hell to pay or you may feel this way here It feels like this person is refusing to let this go. They're wanting to work together. They don't care if it sucks They feel like this is what's going to happen. It's like I don't care if you um, are ill dignified is what I'm hearing I don't care if you think I'm mean. I don't care if you're mean. You're going to get the job done. You're going to work together with this relationship. And we're going to tell everybody we're happy about it. That's what it looks like to me. Okay. So you guys are both spying on each other in your next moves from what I'm seeing. The Knight of Cups is here as well as this Six of Wands. There may be some sense of an apology that is trying to happen here. Or someone wants to reach out. Let's see. At least they're curious about what would happen if I do so. This is what I'm seeing. Uh-huh. Yep. This person's trying to come back in. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to move forward. They're saying, this is mine. This is my relationship. You said you're committed to this. You're staying with me and, and I'm staying with you. Literally, this is what you're dealing with next from this person. Let's see your next moves here because you're in this nine of pentacles energy with the emperor. This is a very... Um, calculated energy. Again, this is how you came out. There you are with the King of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Maybe you guys feel like you're kind of stuck here. You could feel like you're stuck with um, some of you in Aries or a Taurus. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, it feels like this person is not wanting to give up or let you go here. Now, I do see that you making a decision here. You could be up in your head a lot, not necessarily knowing which way is best or what's going to be most stable for you. I feel like you're overthinking in your next moves. You may need more information. You need some clarity, okay? You need clarity about how you feel, what you want, what you're going to be doing with the judgment on the bottom. Exactly. This is what I just said to you because I was seeing this again. It feels like you're needing to... Um align with what it is that you want you have to connect with this otherwise this isn't going to be very healthy here because there's a new beginning coming in some of you guys are just completely needing to or wanting to avoid this with the judgment energy and moving into some sort of new beginning let me see the next two weeks here actually first let me see what this person wants to say i don't react when people mention you yeah maybe it's like bringing other people into this for some of you I remember every detail of that day. Interesting. I do feel like there's some sort of uh, hell to pay. I hope you can forgive me one day. Okay, yeah, this, there's an apology coming in. We need to let each other go. Um, someone's coming in to communicate with you. They want to see if there can be an apology. I just, your energy here is saying, I don't know what to do right now. That's what it looks like. Okay, let's see. I am not available. Yeah, you may feel you're not available right now. What does this person want to say to Aquarius? All right. I want you. Yeah, we know this. This person wants to keep you. Like, keep you. You're dealing with a very possessive <laughs> possessive individual. I feel like their energy is kind of out of balance. They're not necessarily working in any kind of spiritual force, is what I'm hearing, spiritual terms. This is someone who may be vibrating on lower frequencies from what I'm seeing, or maybe they're just out of alignment and they're needing to fix this. You could also benefit from this because I feel like you're feeling almost isolated, trapped. Maybe like you need to run and hide or like you're kind of caught up in some sort of weird cycle. You're not sure what to do. So I feel like there's definitely a need for balance in both energies, okay? Future planning, yada, yada, which we said about you is why I said that. Okay, Aquarius and this person in the next two weeks. You guys, man, be careful. Fulfillment of wishes. You have a treasure chest coming to you between Aquarius and this person in the next two weeks. Foundation and achievements, hope. All right, that's your energy right there. I do feel like you are achieving some sort of balance, Aquarius. Um, there's a foundation and achievement happening here for you. Whatever it is that you've built. Um, did you see that? That was weird. The light just went. I mean, I've seen it. That was wild. Okay, my bad. Let's just move forward. Um, you're going to be communicating here. 
you don't even have to be communicating. This is you connecting to the truth, okay? This is you, yourself, connecting to the truth of the situation. Bottom of the deck is heartache and loss, okay? I do feel like you're understanding here what it is you want, um, part of your family, your kin, your friends, your livelihood. I'm hearing livelihood. So the throat chakra energy is knowing the truth, speaking the truth, acting upon the truth. All of this stuff is coming in for you. Rest and rejuvenate. That's four of swords energy, wisdom. It could be a Taurus energy here. But I feel like you're aware that you need some sort of break. But like I said, I feel like you need some balance and maybe you need your people. Okay, you need to connect with your people, the people that are close to you, the people that you know are in alignment with your energy here. Because I feel like someone is isolating you or you feel isolated. All right, so just be careful. Suffering in silence, like I said. Passion ignited. That's interesting because, okay, mental conflict. That's what I was just about to say. I feel like there's a new beginning trying to happen, but like you're overthinking this, you're up in your head. I also feel like you may have anxiety about it. You're like, I don't know if I can do this. I'm not sure I want to get involved in this. Like, I feel like you're, yeah, emotional loss, guys. Conflict, mental conflict, guys. You need clarity here. Transformation, that's death card energy. Exactly. You need to do away with these um, bad energies here, guys. You're going to have to choose wisely from what I'm seeing because you have an opportunity to move forward, but you also have an opportunity to reconnect. But from what I'm seeing, it looks like you're you're very much out of balance um, when it relates to this situation or the situation is out of balance and it's affecting you. You see what I'm saying? Something needs to, yeah, something needs to change real bad. For Aquarius, uh-oh. Someone's still in love is what I saw. Aquarius, please. Card for Aquarius. Queen of the Outsiders. That's the one that popped out. <laughs> I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. This is what I said. Someone is still in love. Okay. But you need to anchor yourself to your feelings here. You need to connect with that. All right. Because I feel like there's something that is becoming very apparent. It's very blatantly obvious. I feel like you're going to know where this person stands with you emotionally. You know where you stand with this person emotionally. And I feel like there's some sort of, um, I'm hearing disfigurement being shattered. That's interesting. Okay. I feel like there's something here that's disfiguring someone's energy. Literally someone's energy but what i was going to say is the illusion is being dispelled all right the presence of the divine feminine at the center of everything there is light and i am that light again connect with your spiritual energy you need to be in balance here there's an anchor here okay i feel like you need to be grounded so connect with the spiritual energy and then ground yourself and i feel like this is where you cannot do any wrong because you need this right now from what i'm seeing there's an imbalance all right aquarius love you so very much aquarius feel free to check the readings on the screen your friends family members neighbors co-workers peep and tom peeps not in the street show replacements too so we know what they're up to kisses. Love you, bye.